Slow website loading speed is a common issue that a lot of website users suffer from. Do you know that the speed is an essential Google ranking factor and if you have not optimized it, your website won't rank well? Speed optimization is a little bit of a tricky process, but we have prepared for you some of the most efficient and easiest ways to optimize your site speed and boost your website. We are a how to hosting guide and in today's video we will also find out what makes your website slow and how to test your website speed. And just before we start, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on the post notifications and like this video because it will definitely help you boost your website. What makes your website slow? Before we start with the optimization tips, let's see what makes your website slow. Of course, many factors can affect your website's loading speed. Let's preview the most critical ones. Hosting Web hosting is one of the most critical factors that can affect your site loading speed. If the server you are hosted on is not well optimized and provides a slow connection to your website, there is nothing you can do to fix this. You have only one option. Change your hosting provider. But here comes the question. How to choose the right hosting provider? As a hosting expert, I have researched and reviewed tons of hosting companies, but in fact it's so hard to know which hosting company is the best. Many customer reviews provide an opinion, but they can be quite subjective. From my team's point of view, you need to test the hosting provider to find out whether it is good or not. And because most of you don't have this opportunity and time to try different hosting companies, we can give you a piece of advice. From our personal experience, we can say that SiteGround is the best option for small to medium websites. The company provides innovative speed optimization and free managed migration, which means that their team will migrate your website for free. Get SiteGround at special price from our affiliate link in the description. Also, you can read our SiteGround's review and see what more the company can give you. Too many plugins. The plugins on your website are also a critical factor for its loading speed. If you have too many on your website, they can affect its speed dramatically. Stay till the end of the video because we will talk about dealing with all the necessary plugins on your website. Images and render blocking resources. The images and the render blocking resources are not the same, but I have put them together because they both can slow down your website. What are render blocking resources? This type of resources are often known as CSS and JavaScript files, which practically slow down your website's loading. They stop the HTML rendering while the browser is connecting to your website. These resources are one of the main factors that slow down your website. Further in the video, I will show you how to optimize them. So what are the most essential tips on how to speed up your WordPress website? Step 1. Install WP Rocket you need to install the WP Rocket plugin because it will be a lot easier to optimize your website speed with it. Without the plugin's help, it will be tough to do all the optimization tasks and there is a big chance to break your website. So you can get the plugin at a special price from our link in the description. It will definitely save you time and most importantly, there is no risk of breaking your website. Step 2. Caching After you have installed WP Rocket, go to your website dashboard, plugins and open WP Rocket settings. If you're not sure what caching means, here it is. Caching is the way that the data of your website is getting stored and stays ready to be delivered in faster manner without requesting the server, which takes more time. When you are on the WP Rockets homepage, go to caching section and enable caching for mobile devices. You need to allow this only if your website is responsive. Step 3. Eliminate render blocking resources. Because eliminating render blocking resources is a tricky task to do and can be done only by a developer, here in the WP Rockets plugin you have the option to minify JavaScript and CSS files. Go to File Optimization and choose to minify CSS files and also combine them. On your website you have multiple CSS files that perform different tasks. To find out whether or not you need this option enabled, you need to learn how your server delivers the data to your website. Is it through HTTP 1.1 or HTTP 2? To find out which one you use, you need a tool like KeyCDN. If you use HTTP2, there won't be a big difference if you choose to combine the CSS files. And the last option you need to check is Optimize CSS Delivery. Now let's move to JavaScript Minification. Here you need to check all the three options. Remove jQuery Migrate because it is loading unnecessary script and slowing down your website. Then minify the JavaScript files and combine them. Let's scroll a little bit down and here as you can see you should check to defer the loading of JavaScript. Step 4. Image Optimization Optimizing the images on your website is very important for its speed performance. Lucky for you, it is not that hard. From the WP Rockets plugin, go to Media and then enable Lazy Loading. But if you are using some of the latest WordPress versions, this step is not necessary. 
The next thing you need to do is to compress your image files. The image compression can be done by using a WordPress plugin like Imageify. And last but not least, you need to convert all your PNG images to JPEG files. This is very important because JPEG format provides a smaller image size and the website is loading the files faster. Step 5. Use Quadflare CDN Using a CDN can be beneficial and it will improve the speed of your website connection with the server so that you will get better uptime. You can use our link in the description to get Quadflare for free. Also, if you're struggling with the installation process of Qualflare CDN, we have prepared a beginner's guide which will help you install the CDN correctly at ease. You can find the link in the section down below. Step 6. Reduce plugins. As I mentioned in the beginning, plugins are critical for website speed. The fewer plugins you have, the better for your website performance. Plugins can cause various issues, and because of that we have created a separate article dealing with everything you need to know about plugins. Check the link in the description. How to test your website speed Once you have performed all these steps, check the speed of your website. Go to Google Page Speed Insights and paste your site's URL. As you can see on our site, the mobile score is not that impressive, but we had some technical issues. Things are getting much better on desktop version. If you do all the steps correctly, you will get green result on both mobile and desktop. For more tips and tricks about website speed optimization, you can check our detailed article, which can be found in the description below. I hope this information helps you to optimize your website speed. Leave a comment and let me know if this guide worked for you. Also don't forget to subscribe, turn on post notifications and give this video a massive like. Thanks for watching and see you in the next time.